Jason Allen here from Play It Software. Today I'm going to take you through the new features in Play It Live version 1.14. Well, as you can see from the slide here, we've been focusing on the remote URLs. So, uh, based on the feature requests on the website, uh, one of the most requested features was the ability to be able to play streams from another internet radio station if you have a, uh, an affiliate radio station or wanting to play files from the internet uh, such as a news file uh, which is produced every hour so you can play a different news file on every hour so we've added the ability to do that and also added some user experience enhancements the special items which was under the special tab on Play Live version 1.3 or before has been moved to below the track list so there's no need to keep switching between the tracks and the special items to insert things like voice tracks or remote URL tracks or break notes. And finally added a quick note explaining quick card pages so anybody who hasn't used quick cart pages maybe you couldn't find them so so there's been a note added to explain how to manage quick cart pages so I'll take you through a quick demonstration of that now so here we are in play it live version 1.14 and at the bottom of the screen here you can see we now have four new buttons at the bottom we've got voice track fixed time marker break note and remote url Previously, these were in the special tab, which was at the top here. So that's been removed along with the tracks tab and everything is at the bottom for your convenience. So you want to use one of these, you can simply drag and drop one of the items onto the log. So I can grab my remote URL and drop it anywhere onto my log. So I'm going to drop it at the top. This will bring up the remote URL settings. So I want to listen to the community radio station here in Cambridge in the United Kingdom is Cambridge 105. And I can drop in the URL for that and drop that into here. And I can click on live stream. And now it's asking for what duration do I want to play that live stream for? So I'm gonna play it for the next hour and click okay. This will load the remote URL into the log and I can simply hit play to listen. And we hope that obviously isn't. Uh, Long Melford 3, FC Clacton. So Hill, the Scott remote uh, uh, stream is playing uh, Cambridge 105 uh, at the moment. And this across. is the sports yeah, show, which is a live Long talk show. So uh, I, think it's I don't want to talk over that. So we'll just yeah. stop playing that one now. So that's a demonstration of playing a live stream here on a Saturday afternoon. We can also play tracks from a file. Same method, drop on my remote URL onto my log and it'll pop up the settings box again. So this time I'm going to play one of the Cambridge 105 podcasts. So the gadget guide is here and I will drop in the URL for the gadget guide and having a type file. So I need to give this a duration so that my schedule is uh, up to date and accurate for the duration of this file because obviously we don't know what that is until we've loaded the file. So I can click on get duration from file and this will populate the duration in here and I can click OK. This will drop it into the log and I can simply press play to listen to that track. The Gadget Guide. And here to talk about CES and other stuff is Robin Lawrence. Good evening. evening and welcome along to The Gadget Guide. So Robin Lawrence there on The Gadget Guide here in Cambridge 105 in the UK. So clearly you can have whatever stream you want, whatever file you want. Basically, your imagination is your limit with that one. So hopefully you have a lot of fun with this new feature. One final thing that's been added is a quick note to say that you can manage quick cart pages by clicking on this link. So if you didn't know already, you can have multiple quick cart pages and I can click on add a new page and uh, close this window and I can double click on this to make it my current page and, and jump back to this one. So I can drop in um, whatever tracks I want into my log and can remove them by editing in that way. So let's have a look at the new features in Play It Manager version 1.02, which complements the changes made to Play It Live. 
So this is Play App Manager version 1.02, a browser-based application allowing you to synchronize data between instances of Play App Live. So here we have no tracks added to Play App Manager. So I just want to click on add new tracks and I can choose any track from my file system by clicking in this area. And I've got a bunch of club tracks here that I want to add. So now in Play App Manager version 1.02, you can now add these tracks to a new listed track group. So I can create a new track group and call this club tracks and upload these tracks and it will be added to that track group ready to be chosen in Play It Live if you want to filter by that. So those tracks have been added to Play It Manager. I can look at my track list and those tracks have been added and I can look at my track group and see that my track for in the club tracks track group have been added here as well. If I want to look at those on Play It Live, I just jump to my Play It Live instance, go to File, go to Connect to Play It Manager. I can browse, I can find a server that's running on my own machine and I can just simply connect to that. So this has switched my database to be using the synchronized database. So my other tracks are still there, so I can jump, I can disconnect. This is my local database. I can jump to connect, and this is my synchronized database. This shows the tracks that I've just added and that I've connected to Play It Manager at the bottom. So because this is synchronized, I can now add remote URLs via Play It Manager and they'll be synchronized onto this Play It Live instance. So I can bring up the window go to my playout log and I can start editing this log. Now this is the live log for this R. Obviously in a real environment you may not want to interrupt the current current person who's in the studio maybe running a live show. So I can choose my remote URL here. Uh, let's play Cambridge 105 again and grab my URL for the live stream and drop that in live stream and we're going to play this for one hour and click OK and then I just need to save my settings. That will be immediately synchronized back to Play It Live as you can see here and we can play this out again. I won't interrupt their talk show again. You can also run the remote URLs via uh, clocks as usual and via the uh, the playout log so you don't have to do it via the, the, the live interface but you can choose manage clocks and I've got a live stream clock here which simply puts a fixed time mark at the top and a link to the remote URL uh, second so that on whichever R you have this clock in it will play that URL. So if I jump to my schedule and I can schedule that clock for this R and let's do the next one just so you can see it populating each R. And click OK. I can go to my playout log, schedule, let's just unschedule everything, schedule some new content. It will schedule those remote URLs for those R's. And you can see here that it's inserted the remote URL to Cambridge 105 for the four o'clock R, which has obviously already started, and for the five o'clock R, ready to play at five o'clock. So that's the new features in Play It Live version 1.14 and Play It Manager version 1.14. You can download those from playitsoftware.com. Just click on the links for Play It Live and Play It Manager. This has been Jason Allen from Play It Software. I welcome your comments at the bottom of this video.